Today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me girl talk edition. Oh wait, wait. I am super excited because we have not done one of these videos in a long ass time. Oh my God. Hey y'all, it's Kat in the VC. If you're an OG subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, hi, nice to meet you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my future uploads. We talk about lifestyle, self-love, commentary type of content on this channel. So if that's interesting to you, make sure you hit that notification bell. I also wanna thank you guys so much for sticking with me through the years. So I wanna gift one of you guys some of my favorite products that I've been loving lately. That would include the Merit Great Skin Instant glow serum obviously a summer fridays jet lag mask because you know that's a ride or die for me and i still haven't decided on some of the other products but those are for sure gonna be in there so all you have to do to be entered is comment below on this video and i will randomly select one person i hope y'all are having an amazing holiday season and let's get into this video So I asked you guys if you had any questions for me on the community tab and a few of you responded. So we're gonna get into that while we put a face on. I do have an affiliate link with Merit. I don't have a code, but an affiliate link. I'm working on the code, y'all, I'm working on the code. But I really love this stuff. It just gives such a good glow to the skin. I even love putting it on my chest just to give me a little bit beachy glow and just nourished looking skin because my skin is so dry in the winter so I need all the moisture that I can get and look at that I look so hydrated once you put that on the skin it's like oh my gosh did she just get off the beach and the answer is no I wish I did unfortunately I live in the midwest we don't have earthquakes we don't have hurricanes we don't have alligators we don't have earthquakes we don't have hurricanes we don't have alligators I don't know what I was thinking anyway I'm big in prepping the skin I really think that that is half of the makeup application like when people are like your makeup always looks so amazing uh, it's because I prep my skin my skin is so moisturized by the time the makeup hits the face that it's just it has no choice but to glow do you know what I mean and that I swear is makes such a difference so this is a caffeine eye cream from the inkly list and I love this stuff just want to make sure all of my skin is super moisturized and ready to play for the holiday party okay but <laughs> First question from May, thank you May, is how to be happier? That is a great question, May. I'm gonna go in with my Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. This stuff, if you also wanna look moisturized, ooh, this stuff, Yummy Skin, they're not lying. Like, look at how glowy and moisturized that looks. Look at her, look at that, ah, it's beautiful, May. <laughs> how to be happier. I honestly feel like that's something I'm really working on right now, but a thing that has been helping me take baby steps towards being a happier person has truly, and I know I sound corny when I'm saying this, but truly, truly has been journaling, starting every morning and ending every night with journaling, really essentially practicing gratitude. That is what has helped make me a happier person and just realizing how much of the tools and the things that I thought I needed, how much I really already have, that has helped me become a happier person. Just realizing how truly blessed I am and I know that is a very privileged answer because not everyone can say that. But I do think a lot of us can say that. Not everyone, but I do think a lot of us, if we were honest with ourselves, would say practicing gratitude can be really beneficial. Ugh, like haven't there been studies is done that show people who have less are happier than people who have more because things don't make us happy like they really don't at the end of the day it's the people in our life the memories that we've made I'm also because I'm breaking out more so like craters like I have this huge crater right here that I was picking at you did this for what why not <laughs> Why? Why not? Like I always say, my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, this is in the shade 11, but she will always be the answer. But yeah, outside of gratitude, I would say another thing that, like look at that, you can't even see. You can't even see that I had a spot there before. Like insane, she's gone. She's gone, poof, puff the magic dragon. Next caller, okay. <laughs> 
but I think also romanticizing your life and just finding the magic in the little things really small stuff like the one of the highlights of my day I got to make a really good chai latte at home and I'm starting to figure out how to make a really good chai latte that is not a huge deal, but it's something small that I can do to just make my day a little bit more special. Buy some whipped cream and put some little razzle dazzle on my chai latte, just to kind of, you know, spice things up, give me a little, a little something to be excited for. And that's okay if all you can find to be excited for is the whipped cream in your chai latte. Like whipped cream's really yummy. And that's on period. Okay, I, I don't know what you all have against whipped cream, cause that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. But whipped cream has got it going on, okay? We just have to find whatever those small things in the day are that genuinely do make you happy and you can find just little, little things. Like today, I woke up to freshly fallen snow, but I did not leave the house today. So to me, today, that freshly fallen snow was super pretty. And that's gonna be something I write in my journal today that was like a highlight of my day is how pretty that freshly fallen snow was. I might hate it tomorrow, when I have to leave the house. <laughs> but for today, it was really pretty. And for today, I'm gonna appreciate that. So yeah, I think just focusing on the smaller things, romanticizing your life. I know it sounds corny, but it's true. It really does help to just fake it till you make it. Pretend you're the main character. And this is just the really hard montage where, you know, this is this is the healing period, but you're gonna get through it. Better days are, are coming. Life is all just a cycle. Cycle, you know, it's a roller coaster. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. This might just be the cycle that you're the dip, the dip and the chip, okay? But that chip comes back, okay? That chip comes back around, right? So you just gotta wait until the next dip. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm kidding. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with, you know it, my Rose Ink Concealer. I've been wanting to try the Kosas. Kosas? Kosas concealer as well. Let me know. Do y'all love that? What do you think? Do we like her? Did she sit with us? Ew. Next question. Okay. Okay. Now that we got that concealer in, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder to set the under eyes. I always, always <laughs> set my under eyes because I am a creasy bitch. I pack that shit in and on my lids. Mainly, honestly, I kind of powder my whole T-zone because that area is always so greasy for me. Especially with my social anxiety, I get nervous and then sweat. So it's just not a cute look. Okay, so Megan, back to your question. Megan said, do you have any tips on how to rebuild your self-esteem slash confidence after rejection? That is a great question, Megan. Thank you so much. I think one thing you can do to rebuild your confidence after you've been rejected is dive deep back into something you're really good at. Y'all, my Huda Beauty bronzer. I have the glowish um, bronzer in the shade tan. Ooh, she, I broke her. She fell off my bathroom counter and <laughs> look how sad she is. <laughs> Griff gonna carve out those cheekbones, baby. A little tap, tap, tap. A little tap, tap, tap. Just to define, I'm just gonna carve out my chin as well. I'm gonna just blend that line so it's nothing, nothing crazy. The last time I was rejected, I started doing makeup again because I'm really good at it. And it reminds me of all the other things that I'm so talented at. And maybe that one person didn't want me or maybe that job didn't want me. There are so many other things that I'm so good at and so many other people that do celebrate my talent, even though that job or that person didn't see that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm obsessed with this blush from Rare Beauty. Look at that color. Whoop. This is the shade Nearly Neutral. I've always been a scurry blush girl. I've never been a blush girl who just can go crazy on it, but um, I've really been loving putting my blush up on the side temples as well. I think it just gives the face like, 
10 out of 10. It just, she's cute. Oh, she cute. Oh, she real cute. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel like Barbie tings this, Barbie tings this. And of course, we're gonna go in with the Patrick Ta palette. I just, you guys know how it is. Once I like a product, it's like, good luck getting me to use something else for the next like six months. <laughs> That's just how I am. But I think when we're rejected, keep in mind how much that that is like, that's your ego that's hurting, right? Remind yourself that it's not personal, whether it's a relationship or a job, none of that is personal. That is not a reflection of you whatsoever. Like it genuinely has so little to do with you. Something, and I don't know if this is gonna be helpful to y'all. This was something that was helpful to me in my last breakup, was just also like realizing the odds. Like what were really the odds that me and this dude are like meant to be? Like there's 50 million people in the world. Like I just, you can't tell me that this was like my only person. It's just, it's not, he wasn't. It's, this isn't your person. Like if they're rejecting you, that's not your person. It's a job that's rejecting you, a part in a musical. Gabriella got the part. I'm sorry, Sharpay, she was a better singer. I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes we're rejected because we the, we were not the best fit either for that job, for that person. They also deserve to find what is a good fit for them. And if it isn't us, then, you know, it, it really, it has so little to do with us because humans are so fickle, humans are so picky. Thinking of it that way has really helped but also starting to take care of my body, moving more, doing yoga, journaling, eating better. My body does feel better. And in turn, then I feel better about myself because I'm not waking up as sluggish as I was because I was just eating complete garbage. I wasn't moving. I wasn't taking care of myself. You know, when you actually start taking care of yourself, I hate, I, I genuinely hate to say it, but you do feel better. Mm, I know a lot of things, but I don't know about that. So that is another thing. I feel like after you're rejected, throw yourself into taking care of your body, your mind, and your soul. Because we're all gonna get rejected. We're all gonna be told no at some point. I think it's very <laughs> silly to think that that's not gonna happen. So if anything, we just have to be prepared for the rejection, you know? Thinking of it in that frame of like, ooh, not like, let's not hope we miss rejection. Kind of more so be like, no, I know it's coming. It's going, it might come. And this is how I can be prepared for it. And like, it happens it's human and it's okay but that doesn't mean you're gonna keep getting rejected because to me I think of a rejection as I'm just one step closer to a yes like yeah that was a no but it can't be no forever like yes I should expect that there's no's but also don't expect that that's all you're ever gonna get there will be yeses like mathematically scientifically like there just has to it will come but there will be no's and that's okay it happens to everyone and if anything use that to propel you like okay hey, maybe I wasn't ready that time, but I'll be ready this time. Unless it's with a person, you know, if they reject you, like, let's not try again. No means no. But like, if it's a job, you know, you could try again for a different position at the company. Just because it didn't work out in that sense doesn't mean it won't work out. Just because that one person rejected you doesn't mean the next person you meet won't be your person. Like, you just don't know. We don't know what that next answer is. We could be one no away from a yes. Does that make sense? This is why I always suck at these videos because I just start talking and then I forget that I'm supposed to be doing my makeup. But I'm gonna go in with the shade. I think it's the shade Absolutely. It's so hard to tell when the shades are like on the back of the palette because I never know which way I'm supposed to read it, but I'm pretty sure it's the deep red one because I, because of my cute red sparkly top, I just thought that might be a nice little accent. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Love this. That color is so so pretty. I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, so Kiki asked, any advice on long distance relationships? First of all, hey girl, Kiki comments on a lot of my videos, so much love to Kiki. We appreciate you. Also guys, don't we love that Kiki Palmer is pregnant? I love that for Kiki. Kikis are winning. Kiki, this is your year, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I close that palette like I'm done? Bitch, we are not done. Ooh, but she looks pretty. That looks so pretty. Ah! Sometimes I just can't handle it. That's why God made me a fat kid growing up because if I would not have been bullied for being fat, I would be <laughs> such an asshole. <sighs> 
Like that really humbled me growing up, you know? And I need that. Cause in, in the back of my head, I'm still like the fat black girl that everyone makes fun of, which, you know, therapy. <laughs> we're working through that but it's like sometimes don't you think that you guys like wow it's a good thing i was humbled back in the day otherwise i would be a b i t c h right now that would be me kiki sorry girl you know how easily i get distracted you ain't new here <laughs> i would say if you guys well first of all okay we're dreaming big kiki we're dreaming big but if y'all can afford to like have trips planned out so that you guys know for sure when you'll be seeing each other in the future i think that is super beneficial one of the things that i feel like really hurt my long distance relationship when i was dating my british boyfriend when i first studied abroad i came back to america it was really hard because of the time difference like when he would be wanting to FaceTime I was like babe I'm in the office like I can't talk right now and then when I get done with work he was like in bed and it was just like it was really hard to find the time to actually like connect face to face but we were like broke college students I was working for a nonprofit. like I did not have the budget to be like okay babe I'll see you in a month you know I genuinely was like a bitch I don't know when I'm gonna see you next like I actually kind of want to like go crazy <laughs> crazy on the eyes so I'm also also gonna put a little bit of the Danessa Myricks color fix foil in the shade oh nebula it's like just a beautiful beautiful gold but yeah so I think Kiki first of all if you guys are able to have trips planned out to oh my gosh you guys look at that foil that's insane can you see that? If you guys can have trips planned, I think that would help. If you can't have trips planned, definitely have like set in stone dates that y'all can FaceTime, like find if it's on the weekend, like whatever time that you guys can find make a date like put it in your calendar you guys are going on a date you're facetiming that's what you're doing but i also think with a long distance relationship if y'all don't actually have like an end goal an end date like something like are y'all planning on eventually living in the same town because i feel like that is an issue for a lot of couples when there's no end in sight like if you don't have an actual end date that y'all know well eventually we'll be together like you know once grad school is done or once med school's done then we'll be able to be together you know if it's just like if you live in Canada he lives in South Africa and y'all just genuinely are like well don't know when I'll see you next and neither of you plan on ever moving or like trying to get a visa or trying to do anything it's kind of like what what are y'all doing it for you know what I mean so I think uh, you kind of unfortunately have to have that realistic conversation and that sucks trust me I get that because that ended up happening with me and my ex is that we just realized there really wasn't gonna be an end in sight to this so might as well just kind of end it before we got too ahead of ourselves which like we had already named our children so like we were we were pretty ahead of ourselves but like okay so now that i got that danessa myricks in i'm gonna actually go back in with the patrick ta with that red color and also this brown sparkly color which i believe is opulent so I just want a little bit more definition on the outer edge. But yeah, I think definitely if there's no end in sight, that's just gonna make it really difficult. Eventually y'all kind of just gotta pull the plug if you don't really see either of you making the move because it's just, I don't think long distance forever is like maintainable. I don't know, maybe y'all feel differently. Let me know in the comments. I just don't think I could do that. Like I'm gonna need to like be cuddling with my man at night I just don't think I could do that but you know for some people maybe that works but yeah I would actually be I'd be curious like let me know what y'all think of that if any of you have been in long distance relationships and anything else help I'm gonna go in with the shade lady my fair lady I tell you and we're just gonna do a dollop of daisy in that inner corner and wow look at that look at that oh look at that shine look at that glow oh wow oh wow she's beauty and she's grace okay i'm just gonna move this a little closer going in with our nyx epic ink liner in the shade black okay guys don't look at me you're making me nervous okay 
there we go gotta fill this in I have to have good practice because i'm going to a holiday party tomorrow i can never get my wings to match y'all and then going in with just a maybelline automatic gel liner this is their lasting drama 24 hour liner in the shade of black and just lining my lids with that and then my lashes this is the maybelline falsies mascara i actually usually use drugstore mascara quite often because i find that's a product that i really don't need to spend a lot on to get the effect that i want like look at that for drugstore are you kidding me the volume I'm actually gonna use my little <coughs> mascara fan brush and that's how I mascara on my lower lashes because when I use this wand I make a huge mess but doing this under my eyes gets mascara on the baby lashes without making them a gunky hot mess and look at how much that like opened up the eyes well bam next brows i'm gonna go in with my nyx micro brow pencil to fill in the outer edge of my brow and i'm just gonna go in and literally do hair like strokes in the same direction that my actual lid goes or not my lid the act the same direction that the hair go grows and i usually fill in just from the bottom of the brow not the top feel like that gives me the look that I want. The good thing with makeup too is like if you make a mistake, you can blend it out, you can tap it away, or you can always start over. It's okay. There's like no special, I mean, there's rules, but you know, who follows rules anyway? So usually if I'm going like full glam, I'll go in with a crayon, but then I love the NYX. Honestly, this is not sponsored by NYX. I just like a lot of NYX products. <laughs> That's good because they're affordable, but NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint I have in the shade espresso and I like to just go in the center of the brow and just lightly a few stroke and it looks so much more that like untamed look you know bushy if you will almost forgot my highlighter which is uma beauty i have this is in the shade honey honey but i'm just gonna lop that highlighter this is one of my favorite highlighters it's so natural looking Last question. So Shay asked, any advice on difficult combos with family around the holidays? They stress me out. Shay, ooh, look at that. Ooh, that is that benefit brow gel. She will get the job done every time. She just will, okay? She knows rent is due, okay? My mom always says, why would you ask that? That's like such a good response to people who are just asking stuff that's like, you know what? It's not your business. It's none of your business. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on lip pencil. This is in the shade Hex. Oh, she's pretty dark for how intense my eye makeup look is. So I feel like I should maybe blend it out a little. Go in with something a little, a little bit softer. But I don't want the bottom to not look the same. So I'm gonna do this and then just blend out too. But Shay, that is a great question. Lately, I've just been telling people, why would you ask that? My mom gave me that idea. But I feel like that's a good way to phrase it that people kind of realize that it's like, okay, that's none of your business really. And some people won't get the hint. Then for those people, you know, you could always say something like, uh, you know what? Like, that's boring. I don't want to talk about that. Like, let's talk about you. Or I feel like that's a great way to redirect the conversation when you, like, if, if that's what you mean by having, like, difficult conversations with family around the holidays, like, answering their questions and things like that. Because that just reminds me, I feel like, of that TikTok trend that everyone's been doing or that everyone did at Thanksgiving of, like, getting up at the table. Like, when they ask you... When when you're getting married, when they ask you about your third divorce. Family just loves to ask the questions that's like, really, do we need to bring that up? When you're in school and everyone's like, how's school going? And it's like, shit, it's going like shit. I don't know what to tell you. I thought grad school was a good idea. Eh, turns out I was wrong. Okay, I'm actually gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner, just cause I think that'll be a little bit better for this look since the eye is so dramatic. But yeah, I feel like already having a script ready is super good too. I've done that before after like going through a breakup too when like your family wants to ask about that and it's
it's like, I don't, no one wants to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this over the dinner table, like past the rolls. Do you know what I mean? I saw this meme the other day that was like, let, we need to normalize telling people, you know what? It's really none of your business. And hey, if you have the guts to say that, say that. I'm more the route of like the, oh, why would you ask that? Or like, yeah, you know, school's going okay. Work's going all right. Eh, kind of boring though, honestly. It's not super exciting to talk about, but you know what is? And then like, just hit them with like, have you listened to Sizzle's new album? They probably haven't. Cause like it's your aunt Shirley, who's like 65 and just wants to know when you're getting married. Like, but if they're not SZA fans and they don't want to talk about how insanely priced those tickets were, if they don't want to talk about that, if they don't want to talk about that, then what do they want to talk about? And that is actually just Essence Shine lip gloss. This is a really bomb ass, just clear gloss. But I think just going into the holidays, like with a game plan, how much are you willing to share with family? And also just realizing you don't have to do anything, you know? If it's easier for you to like not attend your family dinner, don't do it if you have the option to do that. But otherwise, I think rehearsing it and just having things ready to say, diverting the conversations and having those topics ready to go. You know, if they don't want to talk about the SZA album, talk about how crazy it is that the SZA uh, tickets were $300 just for freaking nosebleeds, right? Like talk about taking down Ticketmaster with your uncles. They'll love to talk about that, I'm sure. If like the heat's on you and everyone's like, when are you getting married? When are you giving me a grandbaby? Like, ah! If someone has to take the heat, you know, throw it over to Jessica, right? Like, Jessica, isn't this your third boyfriend this year? You know, someone has to take the heat and it doesn't gotta be you. All I'm saying is sometimes we don't always have to give people the answers to the questions that they ask. Cause sometimes people are nosy. Okay, and then finally to finish off the look, gonna be going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This spray, everyone and their mother have been talking about this spray, so I had to cop it. Ooh, she smells beautiful. And she really is a mist because some of these other girls will be saying, you know, it's a spray and then you just get globs out. But that one really, she might've did something. Okay. But yeah, that is the finished look. So this is the makeup that you can wear to tell your family to mind their own business. I hope you guys enjoyed this girl talk. Get ready with me. Let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Don't forget to comment down below for a chance to be entered to win the giveaway. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing holiday season and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.